my series actually I'm just tagging along with um, the amazingly talented ladies who do this every month there is Christy and Kristen and Moira and Shannon and Sheila all of their links are down below so you can go and check them out uh, and this is the fifth layout for the month of July and we were playing along with off the board. So at the beginning of this video, I showed you the inspiration piece that we used um, from Christy. All of us picked a different Pinterest piece. That's what off the board is all about. And then we used each other's Pinterest pieces to create our layouts. So this one is Christy's. It's that really fun ice cream, uh, like watercolor picture and I just loved it. I love the colors. I just love the feeling of the ice cream. It's very summery. And then also because I've kind of been trying to work in some sort of design aspect with each of these pictures as well, I love that it's watercolors. So that kind of gave me an opportunity to pull out my watercolors and play along a little bit and kind of, you know, experiment and stuff like that. So I kind of briefly showed you the kit that I had, what I was working with um, at the beginning of the video as well. So I had lots and lots of summery colors and ice creamy type colors. And then I also had this cut file. And so I originally thought that I was probably going to somehow use it to make maybe like... Um, uh, umbrellas the tops of umbrellas and do some sort of beachy type layout but I ended up not picking photos that had anything to do with the beach and so I abandoned that and I decided I'm gonna make these my little ice cream cones and because I knew I'm creating with a smaller sized layout I'm not doing a 12 by 12 that uh, this cut file was going to be kind of large and I wouldn't really have the opportunity to kind of add the cones in as well I just sort of had this feeling it was going to be too much in that background um, so I thought it would be kind of fun to just use this cut file and there's already the little triangles in there so instead of the tops of beach umbrellas they're you know they're like the cone shapes but also just a fun different way to let the the ice cream colors kind of peek out uh, and separate them one from the other I guess you could say so I went ahead and took my white cardstock cut it down to the size that I need for the album that I am creating with and then I also had to cut down my cut file just a little bit because it was a little bit too large for this size of background and also it um, was a little bit too busy that it it, I think it would have looked too much just like kind of random dots rather than the ice cream cones that you see in Christie's inspiration piece. They're all kind of separate and stand alone. They don't really touch. These ones do touch because obviously I am working in a smaller space and I'm kind of working with the cut file the way that the way that they are grouped together. But I did cut a bunch of them away so that I didn't have quite so such a big cluster I guess you could say um, and you could kind of see these individually a little bit better so once I got that all done I took a white pencil crayon and I marked on that white paper where each of my little cut file kind of circles are so where my my ice cream cones had to be or my you know balls of ice cream had to be and now I'm just going to town and I'm creating my ice cream so I started off with pink I thought it's pretty classic ice cream color I'll go ahead and do that I added some swirls of other colors because ice cream's never you know completely uniform it usually has some character to it in um you know different shades of of whatever color or swirls if it's two different flavors together that kind of thing so I've got my little kind of pink ball of ice cream and then I did a blue kind of like a bubble gum that's my my youngest's favorite and did little pink dots in that to kind of represent bubble gum and then I did um the big green one which 
maybe it's, I don't know, pistachio or mint chocolate chip. I was thinking mint chocolate chip, but again, it could kind of be whatever you want to interpret it as. I really just wanted to, you know, go with those summery colors that I had in the kit. So blue, pink, green, I did orange. It kind of looks like tiger tail. So I had a little splash of um, a spray mist from Recollections. I literally just had to touch the tiniest little touch and as soon as that black hit the water it just spread and it looks so cool. I actually think that one's my favorite one. Um, and then I've got some chocolate and then what else? Oh I went and looked at Christy's picture because I was trying to think of what other colors that wasn't going to look too uh, fussy. Like I didn't necessarily want this to resemble realistic ice cream where I'm starting to add, you know, swirls of chocolate and pink and and white and all that kind of stuff. I just kind of wanted to have these round balls and I knew that down at the bottom some of these were going to be covered up a little bit more anyways. So it's more just the impression than anything else. Um, and you can see here too, I also decided what I was going to do is just let them all run together because I feel like the inspiration photo it very much is like a loose watercolor rather than trying to be an exact replica of an ice cream cone so I sprayed each of the little circles so they were nice and wet and then just kind of dabbed the colors blended a few different colors especially for the greens and the blues kind of blended a few together let them mix and mingle added in my little dots to give some character and that kind of thing and um, yeah I think it turned out really good I definitely recommend when you're doing something like that to give it some time to dry if you're worried that something isn't quite looking the way that you wanted it to look give it some time to dry and let the paint kind of do its thing and then you can always come back and add to it if you want um because sometimes watercolors will kind of do that as they're drying they shift and change and blend a little bit and it ends up looking really really nice and different than what you expected when it was um, still wet paint. So I love the way that mine turned out. I think it was really fun. And again, it was just kind of this fun exercise in playing around with the colors and seeing what they were going to do with the watercolor or sorry, it wasn't a watercolor pencil crayon, just a normal pencil crayon. Um, but you can actually see in some of them, especially that tiger tail one, where the mist didn't stick to the pencil crayon. Um, the watercolor didn't really either. If I wanted to, I probably could even go in and rub some of those spots and the color would come off of where the pencil crayon was. So that's kind of cool that it has a similar effect to if you were using uh, a wax crayon or something like that. So it was kind of fun to just experiment with that. And then you can see where some of the dots, for example, in the blue one stood out really nicely and are little perfect dots, but where the brown paint granulated a little bit more. And so in my mint chocolate chip, it blended a little bit more. So I always try to learn something new I guess you could say or experiment or do something just a little bit different every time I pull out my watercolors and kind of play with them because I've never taken a class and so I don't necessarily know all the properties of them but my grandma was a watercolorist uh, very talented I have some of her works she went to um, a private art school and so I like to experiment and kind of you know play with the medium that really speaks to her so she's definitely got all the talent though she can draw and do all that kind of stuff I can't do that but I still enjoy the medium so I like to try to find little moments to to learn and experiment and just see what what the watercolors can do so I think this turned out so fun and what a great way to create a background that has these bright bursts of color but really not much to it like it wasn't too intensive it didn't take very long um you definitely don't have to I'm using air quotes here you can't see them but you don't have to know what you're doing in the sense that you could do this with any water color um, type thing that you have. So even Crayola markers, you could draw or color them onto um, 
some plastic packaging and pick it up with a paintbrush and dip that into some little, um, you know, places where you've sprayed some water on your paper and it will start to blend and move and do the same kind of thing. But it's still just made this really fun, cute, whimsical layout. And it definitely, for me anyways, I definitely feel the ice cream love with it and kind of um, hopefully you get that sense from the inspiration piece and kind of where I was going with this. So while that was drying, I actually went ahead and backed my photos with some of the scraps of paper that I had in my little page kit. Uh, I thought I was going to do a ton more layering than I actually did. This ends up being a page kit where there's still a lot of stuff left over. I'm thinking that what I might do because that was kind of the thing for the month of July. I loaded my kits with a lot more stuff than I knew I was going to use. I think for August, I might actually take all of my kits, dump the leftovers out onto my desk, and then recreate five kits with these leftovers just to kind of see if I can actually stretch the leftovers into five brand new layouts. I think I can. So that that's where I'm thinking um, I might I might head. That's the direction I might go in for August. But we'll see. Stay tuned at the end of the month <laughs> to see if that's what I actually do. But this one definitely had lots of fun little scraps because I was looking for those kind of ice creamy fla um, flavors. No, not the ice creamy flavors, the ice creamy colors. And there's tons left over because I really don't use a lot of paper uh, for my matting or as layers or anything like that. Um, so each of my pictures has two mats on it. I use two different colors for each one just to get some extra paper in there. And then I use some of those little border strips to um, create some layers along the side. I had that one card that was all ice cream. And so I cut that into three and kind of created a little ripped border along the right hand side of my picture, just bringing in a little bit of interest and, you know, something kind of fun to bring in some more of those papers and colors. Um, I added the little ice cream uh, truck and as I was adding this my nieces and nephews actually came over and it totally dawned on me that I literally have a picture of my it was only the three kids then but my three kids and oh no it wasn't it wasn't it was actually all of my kids so four of my kids and three of my brother's kids all lined up on the back bumper of an ice cream truck eating ice cream. And I thought, oh, as soon as I plonked that down, I realized I could have used it somewhere else. So now I'm going to have to be on the hunt for another ice cream truck sticker of some kind. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just stuck it down there. I thought it was really cute. I have a little kind of cluster um, where the pictures are just to bring in some interest and some more ice cream themed ephemera and you know some words I always like to have some words and I added a few little puffy stickers and then I thought it would be fun to take my sequins and turn them into cherries so this is also for the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team so I took two of the new July mixes I have the Betty Ross mix which is red white and blue so I guess it's a very American mix um, I'm definitely not going to use it as American colors because I'm not American so I'm totally happy to pick it apart and use the colors uh, in other ways and then I use the 80s night which has this beautiful kind of pinkish color and I thought if I mix the two of them together I have these really adorable little cherries that I can put on the tops of my ice cream so I went ahead and did that and then I added my title and that is my layout thank you so so much for watching I really appreciate it check out all the links down below use my discount code gen15 in the Spiegel mom scraps shop if you'd like to save some money and until next time happy scrapping bye to my channel